So today I'm talking about a P2101 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2101 code? Well, it's a throttle actuator A control motor circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, basically engines have what's called a throttle body that's controlling all the air that's going into the engine. And it's controlling all the air going into the engine with this butterfly plate. When the gas pedals press, this butterfly plate's gonna open up more and let more air go into the engine. When throttle bodies were first introduced, they used to have a cable that went down to the gas pedal. And when the gas pedal was pressed, this cable would pull open that butterfly plate. But in many newer vehicles, they got rid of that cable that goes from the gas pedal up to the throttle body, and they replaced it with an electronic system. And basically how this works is that there's gonna be a sensor down on the gas pedal, and it's gonna monitor how much the gas pedal's been pressed, and it's gonna report all this information to a computer. It can vary on the computer that's being used in the vehicle. It's gonna depend on the year, the make, the model, different things like this. But there can't be a dedicated computer for this called a throttle actuator control module, or it can all just be controlled by the main computer, like the powertrain control module or the engine control module. But basically, there's gonna be a computer controlling all this, and it's gonna control a small little DC motor that's on the throttle body, and it's gonna open and close that plate depending on where this pedal's pressed. But when you get a P2101 code, something's gone wrong inside this system. The computer's seeing some kind of issue here. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2101 code? Well, the first thing that's going to cause this is any kind of wiring problems inside of the whole system. If there's any kind of bad connection, like an open or a short or anything like this, then that's going to cause issues. So you can't go around and just check and see if those pins and wires and everything look like they're plugged in good going to the throttle body. You can also get a wiring diagram for your specific vehicle because there will be differences. And you can check and be sure that you're getting voltage, that you've got good ground going to that circuit, and that there is no opens or shorts or anything like this. Because the first thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. The next thing that could cause this is a dirty or bad throttle body. There might be some kind of issue going on with the throttle body that's not allowing that little DC motor to work correctly. A very common problem with these throttle bodies is that they get really super dirty and it just throws everything off. It can throw off the sensors and throw off the computer and different things like this. So if you can go look at your throttle body, you can look inside there and it looks really super dirty. It can be a good idea to go clean it up. Basically to clean it up, you get what's called throttle body air intake cleaner and you spray down inside of there real good. And you can even use like a small toothbrush or something like that. And you clean it up real good and wipe it out with a clean rag. And quite often that can solve a lot of issues. One thing to mention is that if you do clean up your throttle body, when you go to first start up the vehicle, it can run badly for like 30 seconds to a minute or so until that throttle body cleaner is all burnt away. But usually after that, the engine does run better. Another thing to mention with these throttle bodies is that sometimes they have what's called a relearn procedure. Not all vehicles are gonna have this, it's gonna vary. Again, it's just gonna depend on the vehicle. But sometimes if you clean up that throttle body or if you swap it out or something like that, the computer needs to do what's called a relearn procedure. So it's a good idea to do a little research on your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on with it. But keep in mind that these sometimes have what's called a throttle relearn procedure. But the next thing that's gonna cause this is a dirty or bad throttle body. The next thing that could cause this is a bad computer. And again, it's going to depend on the vehicle, but this could be a dedicated computer called a throttle actuator control module, or it could be built into the main computer, which can be called the engine control module or the powertrain control module. So again, it's going to vary. If you do think it's a bad throttle actuator control module, be sure that module is getting good power to it, that it's got a good ground and things like this, because these computers all need a good power supply or else it could throw them off and they won't work correctly. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of computer issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad throttle position sensor or a bad pedal position sensor. And usually when these go out, you're going to get another code. The throttle position sensor is going to be located up on the throttle body, and it just reports back to the computer how open this butterfly plate is. The pedal position sensor is going to be located down on the gas pedal, and it's just reporting to the computer how much this pedal has been pressed. And if one of these is having some kind of problem, then it can throw everything off and cause problems. But usually when you have an issue with one of these, you're going to get another code. So for example, if you got like a P0121 throttle pedal position sensor switch A circuit range performance, then that would point to some kind of issue with that throttle pedal position sensor. And so in that case, if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that and go test those sensors and be sure that they're good and things like this, because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2101 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.